Right, before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so all you got to do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description, and uh, like that video, and tell me in that video, comment down why you would what you would buy with the gift cards or PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V-Bucks or anything, so yeah, just do that, and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Tell you mates. Right guys, today we're going to be doing a Ninja thumbnail tutorial, so go over to Ninja's channel, he usually uses the same, uh, like, uh, format for his thumbnails, uh, the character in the right, on the right or the left, and then the, um, uh, the text of white and, uh, orange, and then the Fortnite, uh, logo with, uh, white spikes around it, so, uh, yeah, we're going to be showing you how to do that for free, so, uh, when I say free, I mean it, it's completely free, if you go over to, uh, online, uh, I think it's pixlr.com slash editor so if you go over here and then it'll bring up this screen so um yeah this is what it should look like uh, sort of look like at the end uh, it's got the text the uh, Fortnite logo I've just put in a random um uh, I think this is the love ranger uh, skin and then also the white spikes and there is a few problems uh, with doing it for free this is probably the closest you're gonna get to uh, ninjas one uh, like I said he uses the, if I go to the ninjas tab, he uses a, um, a, like an orangey Fortnite Battle Royale with the ninja logo above it. I can't actually do that in a Pixlr, so that's one thing. Also the spikes are like a little bit less spiky, and I'll show you why when we get to it. And um, uh, the, I'm not sure what font he uses, however, personally I don't like his font. This, this is just my opinion, and you probably don't care about this, but... I prefer a different font and I'll show you what font that is in a sec so yeah if you head it over to online pixlr just want to go over uh, to this I'll leave this uh, link in the description and then click cre create new image and then change the width to 1280 1280 and then the height to 720 so that's a rectangle and then check the box that says uh, transparent because that'll obviously put a transparent background in so um yeah, the first thing Ninja has in his thumbnail, the background, you wanna, always want to start from the back and come forwards, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, the, the furthest thing away uh, is what you want to start with. So he has, like, this one's like a Fatal Fields one. Um, I think, uh, you can't really tell, that's a Tilted Towers one. Uh, his latest one, I'm not sure. Actually, that's not his latest, if you go actually to his channel. Uh, he's got um, videos. Uh, he's got the... If you can see in the background, that's actually a um, season five background. So I've actually got that one. So if you go to um, layer, open images layer, this is gonna be your your bottom layer here. I've got a folder Fortnite backgrounds. It's just uh, where I store some things. So we've got a random Fortnite one there, um, a season five one, which you're gonna use. Tilt towers, another tilt towers, a random one there. But we're gonna use the season five. So you're gonna click on that, and then if you go to edit and free transform. And then hold in shift, make sure you hold shift, it keeps it in proportion. You want to uh, drag the corners out and just choose where you want this uh, to be. So I'm going to get rid of that Fortnite in the bottom left. And I'm going to drag that a little bit more outwards and then make sure it fills up. So you want to make sure it's all the way around this uh, grey area where there's so no transparency is uh, being shown in the background. Then you click off that uh, and click, uh, do you want to apply the changes? Yes. So always click yes and it'll do whatever you've just done. And then you want to create new layer. And then if you can see on Ninja's ones, he hasn't, you can't see what's in the background, usually because he puts a, uh, a color over it. So to do this in the free online software, you want to do, uh, you want to grab the brush tool, which is here, or I think it might be control and B. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's just check control B. Uh, no, it's not, it says B next to it. I'm not sure what that does. I don't use hotkeys. So whatever they're called, uh, shortcuts. Sorry. So, um, yeah, on the brush size, uh, I drag this about, about halfway, 520, that could be good, around that, around that big, um, so yeah, and then you want to grab a colour, um, you could literally grab any colour, you've got green, purples, blues, light blues, uh, red there, I'm going to do blue, blue for my channel, um, so to change the colour, set main colour here, you can drag it all the way around this, I'm going to go to dark blue, and then make sure the inner circle is on the colour you want, so it'll be that. And then all you got to do is change the opacity here, which is how see-through it is, or uh, 
to around 80 I'd say probably maybe a little bit less actually if you do undo I'll change it I'm gonna go for uh, around 60 I think uh, yeah around 60 60 seems good and then all you gotta do this is a bit laggy because I'm recording at as well at the same time but all you gotta do is go around the whole thing just make sure you haven't missed an area uh, I'm not sure how laggy this is for you, but it is pretty f for pretty laggy for me. Sorry about that. I'm doing the best I can. I haven't got the greatest PC, so recording and doing like an editing editor photo at the same time is pretty demanding on my PC. So yeah, we've done that. So that's that layer. So you can sort of see the background. If you want it uh, darker, you can change its opacity up the top uh, top left. But I'm going to leave it like that. And then. Um, Next step, I'd say, you don't have to do it in this order, you could do the white spikes next, but I'm going to go for uh, the actual image of uh, the character. So, if you go over to our, our tab here, we want to do layer, open images layer, oh, hang on, hang on, oh, sorry, we need to make a new layer, this little button here is a new layer, and then and then do the same thing, open images layer, and then I've got a little, a little um, in my pictures, and then Fortnite characters, I've got loads of characters, because obviously I use them for my thumbnails as well, got the love ranger there. Um, I think I might go for, uh, I think I'm going to go for the Wukong, mix it up a bit, so Wukong is gone straight in there, if you want to know how to get that actually, sorry, if you just search into Google, uh, Fortnite char character PNG, PNG on the end of anything makes uh, the background transparent if you can search for one, so we've got a few there, go into images, uh, there's the love range I used. Um, if you click on it, the background is checkered. If it's checkered, is a good one. And then just click uh, save image as. Right click and save image as. So yeah, there's. there's a, oop, I didn't mean to click on dance there, but yeah, there's there's a few there. So just click on any ones you like and add it into your thing from image and uh, open images layer. And then Wukong, in my opinion, looking too big there. So you want to go to edit, free transform, and just holding shift again, just drag one of the corners down. It doesn't matter what corner. And I'm going to do it for about that much, and then click off and, and click yes to apply the changes. So uh, I'm going to put him. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, just a little bit. Uh, put him about. There we go. Okay. Now that's looking good. Uh, the next step probably is the text. I'd say so. Uh, you want to make a new layer. Now, like I said before, ninja's text. I can't actually find this. It, you could say that's a good text, and if you really want that, you might have to do some research. I uh, just can't find it anywhere. But uh, yeah, if you go to Type Tool, when you um, type, uh, you can just click down, and then there's a load of fonts here. And there is, uh, if you search on YouTube how to download a font into uh, uh, Pixlr, online Pixlr, there is ways to do it. But if you do like any of these uh, um, fonts, then you can. Uh, I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna put. Uh, what should I say? Um, what have you done before? Uh, I'm gonna do probably brand new. Oh, hang on. I wasn't typing. Brand new. And then you want to do your top line as one layer, so like that. Um, and then I'm gonna change the color to white. He usually uses white, so that's uh, fully white there in the color. Size. We're gonna bump this up a bit. Uh, that's way too big. Probably around that big there, and then the font I'm going to be using. You don't have to use this. Like you could, you could say that's a nice font. Anything, uh, anything you want. Um, I'm going to be using Oblex Pro. So if we go here, where is it? A B C D E F G H I J K L M. There it is. Oblex Pro. So there we go. That's my one. I'm going to be using. I'm going to change this to 100. See how big that is. Yeah, that's actually probably probably about right. And then, if you use this move tool here, uh, you could put it wherever you want. And we've actually got an, a layer I didn't need there, sorry. So we're gonna put that above, and then just write in our next line, which will be brand new. Uh, how do you even spell Wukong? Uh, is it is it like this? Yeah, it, it is. So just wanted to make sure I wasn't spelling it wrong. Um, if we're in the type. Are we in it? No, we're not. Oh, hang on. Uh, going to do this. Oh, it's about to crash, isn't it? Oh no. 
<laughs> um, this is bad. Um, right, two seconds. Three, two, one. Right, sorry about that. It's just, uh, it was like very laggy. You just had some lag spikes. So, uh, yeah, after brand new, we're going to write uh, Wukong skin. I'm going to do it in all capitals. And then he usually uses orange. So I'm going to put uh, probably, probably that color orange there. And then we're going to click OK and move that to about there. Actually, I might make this a little bit smaller, actually. Uh, if you click on the text and then change it to 75, maybe. Yeah, that looks about right. I don't want it to look too big and out of the way. So if we drag that to there, then I'm going to make a new layer. And this is going to be for the um, uh, the Fortnite logo. And it open the image as layer. And then in my pictures and the Fortnite backgrounds, I've actually got the Fortnite logo there. So if you add that in, that's just on Google, Fortnite logo, PNG, and then um, free transform, edit and free transform, hold down one of the corners with shift and drag it in, we'll make this a lot smaller, to about there, click off and apply the changes, and then drag that in there. So now we've got the like basis of the, of the thumbnail done, there is uh, I think one more thing, and it's going to be the white spikes that he has on every thumbnail, literally. Uh, so this is the... One of the problems with online photo editor is that uh, it's it's going to be a bit um, not not great because of the lack of like uh, tools you have on the photo editor. So if we go over to here, here um, as you can see, this one was really rushed. This was just to show you guys. But if we go to I think it's layer twenty one. This uh, is it. Yeah, it is. Okay. So when we flick that on and off, if we zoom in. Uh, to one of the spikes you can see here from a distance it looks okay but um if we zoom in you can actually see that the uh the like there's gaps missing it's out the lines so that's one of the problems but to be honest it from from a distance that looks all right but i'm going to show you how to do it anyway uh, i'm going to show you how to do one and then i'm just going to add in the the uh, photo so what you want to do is grab the drawing tool and then i, I think the size is on what is the size on uh, size on three, so change this to three, and then uh, make sure it's on white. So if you click here and then drag that in a circle to the white one, and then yeah, just so Ninja, if you want to follow it exactly, you has one in the t two in the top left, two in the bottom right, uh, bottom left, one in the uh, top right, and then like one there sort of, and uh, two in the bottom right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bottom. Should we do the bottom? No, we'll do the top left, I think. Uh, just I'm going to show you one. So we're going to do this one here. So all you got to do is, with the drawing tool, just uh, drag the tool downwards, out the way, and then make another one and fill it up there. So they all like uh, match up. And then with the fill tool, make sure it's still on white, and then uh, just add in the fill there. And then to zoom in, just use a uh, scroll scroll on your mouse, and then zoom in, go right the way across so you can see it, and then up all the way. And then now you can see that you want to grab the pencil tool, and then make sure it's still on white. And all you, you got to do is just color that in where the fill tool didn't quite fill it in. By right there. And just along 
there. So all you got to do is do that a few times all the way along the edges and uh, you should have your thumbnail looking good. So do that a few times along the edges and uh, that is how you do the ninja thumbnail tutorial. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.